Coors Light versus Budweiser. Who's the most America? What's up guys, it's Loki here, and today I've got a brand new idea. Just came up with it, fresh off the frying pan. Uh, it's a battle of the brews. And I've had, to be fair, I've had this idea for a little while, I'll be honest. Um, and I thought it'd be interesting to bring something new to the channel, maybe try something a bit different. And I thought, what's better than to just take everyday beers that, every, that everyone drinks all the time? Maybe even some, you know, more hidden away secret ones and pit them against each other. If you haven't noticed as well, I've also got a new camera. It's the Logitech Stream Cam, uh, 60 frames per second, 1080p. So uh, if you notice any differences between that, that's because of that. In the red corner, weighing in at a 4.5% alcohol content rating, we have Budweiser. Don't know why I said it in that accent, it's American. Budweiser. And in the blue corner, representing America as well, we have weighing in at 4%. Cause light. Welcome to the first battle of the brews. And it's Battle for America. It was a big one. Uh, right, so let's get to it. So I'm going to go off kind of everything that I know about, which is nothing. So uh, see you next week. <laughs> so I'm just kind of do it off my own brain and with not very much knowledge, I'll be completely honest, uh, other than I drink quite a bit of it. And I have drunk quite a bit of it. Um, so just going off uh, labels. Now... And bottles and stuff like that. Uh, to be honest, they, they both got something going for them. Budweiser's got something going for them in the way that I know it's childish. And in America, I'll be honest with you, you probably guys deal with it all the time. Twist off cap. Kind of a novelty around you. You don't get many twist off caps for much. I mean, I've had a root beer from America. That had a twist off cap. Now, I don't believe, I don't believe cores do. I could try. But it doesn't advertise it if it is a twist off cap. I, mean, I don't think it is. I think Budweiser's just more iconic. And I, I do, I mean, I like the cause Light design, but the Budweiser's going to take that round, I think, on, on just on bare looks. I like the Budweiser logo. It, it's well worked. Although I can't think of cause Light without thinking of uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, now, thanks to that, and freezing his bollocks off on top of the Alps, which I'm sure he wasn't actually on the Alps. No, actually, fuck it. He was on top of the Alps. And I did like the little, uh, the little um, commercial thing they did where they had the cold label on it, so you knew it was the right temperature. You knew it was cold enough. Okay, so yeah, on design, I think the Budweiser is going to win out, to be honest. Um, it's already got an advantage because of the twist-off cap. I'm going to do something I've never done on this with a cap check. I'm going to twist-off cap. Don't get that on many beers. Let me tell you that now. Cap check. I mean, we know what a Budweiser bottle cap looks like. Uh, and now I'm going to try. I don't think it's twist-off. I'm pretty sure. Not twist-off. It's not twist-off. So I'm going to have to go and grab my, my measly bottle opener, which I've got on my keychain anyway, but I've got a spare one up here for some reason. Don't know why. They are both open, ready for a bevy. Uh, I do prefer, I do prefer the cool Coors Light one. I'm going to try and get it without knocking everything over. I do prefer the Coors Light bottle cap. Be completely honest with you. Let's have a look at just uh, at first glance. So I'm going to pour these into, uh, I mean, I should really, I'm going to pour them into pint glasses. I've got two Harbour pint glasses, which is a Welsh brewery, I believe. I hope, yeah, Tenby Harbour Brewery. The Coors Light. You're probably wondering, you're probably wondering, Jack. How are you going to remember which one's which? Well, the left one's going to go on the left side. And then the Budweiser, the Budweiser is going on the other side. Uh, we have Budweiser on this side. We have Coors Light on this side. Now, I'll probably put some in up here to distinguish between the two that obviously I can't do at the minute because they're uh, underneath. But I'm, going to keep, I'm just going to keep it there. Maybe I'll even put the bottle caps in. No, I won't put the bottle caps underneath. I'm an editor. I can put it on top. Now, from first glance... There appears to be less in one. How the fuck does that work? Holy motherfucker, I've never noticed that. Right, first point of fucking call. There we are, we're downgrading this. So our cause light bottle, as shown by here, has 330 mil. A Budweiser bottle only has 300 mil. I've never noticed that. There's less in this one because Budweiser has less in the bottle. So the other thing I was going to obviously do, which I probably should have done at the beginning of this, is check the price. So the Budweiser is in a £9 for 12 bottles of 300ml, only 300ml. And then the Coors Light is sitting at 12 bottles 
of 330 ml for nine pound also so they're both nine pound but you're actually going to get more beer out of the cause like as you get 330 ml as opposed to the budweiser's 300 but obviously the cause light is a lighter lager so it's got four percent instead of 4.5 of the budweiser if that makes sense now we've got that out of the way time for the tasting now just off i and it's hard to pick between them but i think that the cause is a little darker one smell i'm gonna do this kind of at the same time i have to do it all with one arm on smell i'm kind of liking the cause i'll be honest with you a bit more of a beery smell i prefer the cause so far no saying that i'm taking it back i'm taking it back Taking it back. I like the bud. I like the bud on the, on the smell. It's a bit more of a, a stronger beer smell, more malty maybe. This is where it all comes down to. We know this. So this is the cause Light. Not particularly strong, but I mean, you know, it's 4%, so it's not going to be particularly strong. It's a nice taste to it. And it lingers as well. I like that. Stays on the tongue a bit. That's a fair assumption. I like that. Okay. That's a good staple. Staple beer. Very staple beer. Now I'm going to have a little sip in contrast with the Budweiser now. Now, that's surprising to me. Now it still gets the aftertaste, I think, but the Budweiser doesn't have a... It isn't very strong. Considering it's, a, it's the higher ABV, it isn't as strong or as predominant as, as maybe, I think... Or as crisp, actually. It's very flat. It feels a little flat. Doesn't look flat on there. Yeah. There's not as much flavor in the Budweiser. That surprised me. Hmm. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Obviously, because the, the Budweiser obviously being the higher uh, alcohol content, I thought it would have been a little bit more crisp and a little bit more tasty. Uh, ooh. <coughs> but actually, the cause, I think, is winning this out. Yeah, there's a little bit more. I personal preference, of course. Obviously, there's probably bud drinkers watching right now, and there's probably cause drinkers drinking, watching right, drinking and watching right now. But to me, there's more flavor in the cause. That's caught me off guard. Wow, I'm swinging towards the cause, you know. Hmm, that's interesting. I mean, it's not in the initial taste. So the initial taste, pretty much the same. It's very, 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 very similar. But. The cause seems to linger a bit more and give you a bit more of a multi taste. Where maybe not the multi taste or the hops, I don't know sure what taste it is, but it gives you that aftertaste that you get from a beer. The Budweiser, I'm not getting that's weird. The Budweiser has its own taste, uh, its own aftertaste, but I don't find it as appealing as the cause light, which is very strange. I think, uh, I, I think I'm so far my, my counters swinging towards uh, this bad boy here, yeah, the cause. So, to the verdict. I've put it on uh, on the bottles. I love the fact that the Budweiser bottle cap is twist off. I love that. I don't know why. It's, maybe it's just a, it's a, it's a convenience thing. Um, you know, if I was going to, uh, to watch a football or something, it's handy to have, just, you know, oh, oh, fuck it. I'm trying to stop burping. I'm trying to talk. It's handy to have that twist off cap. But, with the cause, all right, you're getting 5% less ABV. I know. These are the sort of drinks you're going to take to a football game. These are the sort of things that you're going to drink over a long period of time. You're going to get more with the cores. Um, you're going to get more flavor with the cores. I know they're aging a little bit sat there now and they're warming up a little bit. It'd be interesting to try them when they're warm, but at the end of the day, you're not going to drink them when they're warm. You're going to drink them when they're cold. So at the end of the day, you kind of want to know which one's better cold. I'm surprised. I thought I was going to get more out of the Budweiser. I did expect it to be the Budweiser. I was a little bit leaning towards the Budweiser, but... The way it's turned out, you're going to get more beer with the cause. You're going to get more flavor with the cause. But I think I'm going to go with the champion. And it's going to win the first ever Battle of the Brews. It's going to be cause. So there we have it. We have our winner, which is Cause Light. If you want a, uh, a brew to, to, to watch a football game with, I can't believe I'm going to say it. Go for a Cause Light. What you're going to get is you're going to get a lower ABV. You're going to get more. You're going to get 330 ml as opposed to the, the Budweiser's 300. You are going to have a twist off cap, unfortunately. But you will have to, so you will have to have your, your, your bottle opener ready. Um, and you just get a better, I think, crisper beer as well. I think the, the Bud is very flat, very fast. 
and the, the, the cores holds out over time a bit better. I, I, yeah, I definitely prefer the cores light. So the first ever battle of the Bruce, we will declare champion cores light. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment what you think your favorite beer is. Obviously, this is just my opinion. I know nothing much about beer. And tell me why you think. Maybe Bud is better. Maybe Cause is better. Just let me know in the comments below, guys. I'd much appreciate it. Um, also, go and check out my other uh, links. They're all below my Instagram, my Twitter, my Twitch, and my gaming channel is both below as well. I also game quite often on Twitch. Um, go and check them out. And uh, yeah, hope you have a good night. Loki out. Go.